Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here today to give a uh, overview, sort of 101 for Safari Line holsters, is there's a variety of options, and I had a lot of questions when I first looked into it, and there wasn't any, uh, any particular videos or anything that explained it all. So, for the purpose of this video, I have the Safari Land Concealment Carry Holster for a Glock 26. Glock 26 being a uh, airsoft replica for Tokyo Motori. So, the uh, key feature for how the retention system works is that this little button here controls the uh, a little uh, lever thing that enters into the ejection port cover. So with that in there, it's holstered securely. And when you push down on the button, you can draw the gun. Now, pushing down on the button, you use your thumb. So your trigger finger never becomes an issue, as was the problem with Blackhawk. The Blackhawk, you would use your trigger finger to draw the gun, and there was issues of negligent discharges, which is a very, very bad thing to have with holsters. So, this is pretty simple. The uh, non-concealment types have a, uh, a pull guard to keep the tr uh, release safe from anyone trying to grab the gun from the front of you. And even to an extent from the rear. So you have to get a grip of the gun and your thumb is already in place to release the gun and get you your uh, thumb in position. So, cleverly designed. Definitely enjoy it. It's not also ter not terribly expensive. You can get uh, these holsters for relatively inexpensive prices and for whatever make and model of gun you have. So, that being said, the uh, standard holster that it comes with, I have lying around here somewhere. With that, it was... Right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it comes with a basic holster, which is this one. So, the way it mounts in is there's uh, three screws, one on the bottom and two on the top. And generally, you would mount those two on here, and then there's a little, uh, little thumb latch that'll catch the bottom of the belt through here, so you can put it onto your belt, and this is for more of a concealment carry. It's nice and wide to provide uh, plenty of contact to the hip, avoid shaking and all that, and it's contoured. So. This is your general option if you just get mounted onto a belt and keep it at hip level. If you are using it at closer, to, if you're using like a play carrier with side sappies or a bunch of gear on the side, they also make a uh, low ride holster mount. And this one sits a bit lower. There's a uh, different belt loop sizes, so you need to adjust it to the belt you're going to have. I actually bought this for a larger belt, which I'm not going to be using. Although this one seems to work relatively well, especially when the belt is on. So there's that. Now, the uh, key feature that I found particularly nice about this is this quick attachment system, which is this panel right here. This panel locks into the back of this, which attaches to the holster on the three-point position, and this could be set up in a variety of ways, and what's unique here is because there's a, the holster has the female retention ends, and this one does not, so this one comes with these small metal disc. Now, to keep the disc from spinning when you're putting these, uh, the bolts through, they have uh, three little teeth, as you can see there, those three little holes. Those teeth dig into those holes and keep the, uh, little, uh, the, ret the retention uh, cap from spinning. So, that being said, what's nice about this is you take your uh, holster, while well, wearing the belt or anything, so you could be, um, you don't have to take the gun out of the holster, you could just take the uh, whole holster out, and this will just uh, slide in there, like so. And yeah, there you go. You can attach um, you attach your pistol like that, and to release it, the two prongs at the bottom here, which lock everything into place, you squeeze down on those, and the holster comes right out. So, you need a little feaster. So if you're going to be sitting in a car that doesn't have a hip holster room, you could get a second one of these panels, and mount it to your uh, plate carrier, whatever you might be wearing. So, to make that happen, you would buy a second quick attachment panel, and attach it to the molly mount. Now how this works is it takes up uh, two spaces and the center where the two molly come together will sit right in here. So, that being said, you take any molly item, preferably something not as flimsy, put that through there, skip over the first. I'll, I'll show you guys this in a second because this was a kind of a big issue for being able to mount it onto a any other non-belt surface or backpack or anything like that. Put that through there. So yes, as you can see, the two teeth in the center are now propped into the molly itself. And the prongs hold it down on the sides there. And then you have your circle disc, which will hold your uh, other retention panel. Or you can mount the holster directly to this. And it's not as quick release, but that is the fastest way to get it onto a molly setup. So, all that's pretty nice. So the two panels, this panel is also 
if you put the screws directly through this and into a wall or underneath your car, you can mount the holster practically anywhere. So, yeah, the ability to put this on and off a belt, and move it to a chest or anything, gives it a lot of versatility. So, you would need this molly attacher, a quick release panel, and the gun itself if you want to be able to do all of these different setups at will. So, nice little feature, found it very interesting. Initially, I was using a... What was I using? I was using a magazine pouch to carry this, uh, the Glock in, so that was pretty slow and ineffective. And then I moved that over to a Blackhawk, to which point I learned about all the different issues with Blackhawk and the fact that the company was um, definitely starting to uh, outsource a lot more out of the States and everything, so that wasn't very cool. And now there's a... Uh, I finally looked into some Safari Lines because I had a few uh, people on my team who liked them, so... Yeah, the concealment one is specifically for the 26, although you can get a 17. Most of the Glocks have a lot of similarity in shape, and you can actually get a 17, and quite possibly even an 18 here. Additional benefits over Blackhawk is if you look in the inside, this is all uh, padded to help keep the gun safe and clean from uh, any dirt and debris, detritus, so on and so forth. And yeah, you can kind of see how the uh, little lever system works there. Let me see, yeah. So that... It goes into the uh, ejection port and that just pops out to release the gun. So, yeah, very uh, very unique and uh, unique, uh, well thought out, well designed system and I've been wanting to do a review on it for quite some time so not practically all the components are here, that's what I want to do. They do also make a uh, drop leg uh, panel and it is expensive beyond reason. So, I don't really like drop legs anyway because they add extra weight to your leg, which slows down mobility, but as far as a uh, low-ride holster, it seems to be one of the superior choices. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today on uh, Crydex holster, or not Crydex, not Crydex holsters, way different uh, beasts there, but uh, Safari Line holsters and their uh, uh, versatility and numerous uses. So hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer those, and uh, stay chill for us, everyone. Cheers.